Rasputin Delgado, please report to the front desk. You have a visitor. What? Rasputin Avocado, you have multiple visitors waiting for you in the reception area. Someone is here to see me? Rasputin Aquato, please come down to the reception area immediately. Your visitors are creating a disturbance. Oh no. It couldn't be. Dad? Rasputin, my boy. Tell me, son. Did you show them? Did you show them all? Uh, well, yeah, we rescued Truman from the kidnappers, so... I guess? That's my boy. So I suppose that means you're running this whole place now. Dad, what are you doing here? What? Well, we're here to support you, son. We? Of course. You really opened my eyes about the whole psychic thing, son. I'd been acting like a fool, I know that now. But your mother... I knew she'd need more convincing. She's not, after all, like us. Psychics, I mean. You don't have to whisper that here. So, I thought if she saw where you were working and met all your new friends... My mom's here. Son, the whole family is here! Oh, no. been practicing your acrobatics? Uh. Uh, he's definitely let his muscle tone suffer. Hey, hey, hey! I think he's put on a little weight. Just what is going on out here? Rasputin, stop goofing around and explain yourself. Who are these people? We are the Aquatos! Traveling thrill givers and practitioners of the acrobatic arts! Great! Well, this is a highly restricted area. The campgrounds are over the hill. Now, if you wouldn't mind hauling that wreck off our landing pad. What did you say? If it's too much trouble to haul it, I could always burn it for you. Please, excuse us. We are Rasputin's family. We've come here to support him, not get in the way. We'll move our caravan to the campgrounds. Ah, uh, I want to play in the jet. Maybe your brother can give us a tour later. Whenever he's ready, he knows where to find us. Bye, Pooter. <laughs> <laughs> that was the greatest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <sighs> yep. <clears throat> oh. <sighs> Looks like the Aquato family circus has traveled through here all right. Yep, we had to hightail it out into the woods because you're ashamed of being an Aquato. I'll stop being ashamed of that. If you stop being ashamed of being a psychic. <laughs> oh, you're asking for it, Raspy. Frazy, it's okay. You can tell Dad now. You don't have to hide anymore. <gasps> this is your last warning. Frazy? <sighs> Ow! More where that came from. You 
found Bucky Fierro's questionable area. Guess my family has chosen where to set up the Aquato Dome. Forgive you. Mom? I mean, if little children never ran away from home, where would the circus get her workers, huh? Uh. What matters is that the Aquatos are all together again. And this little adventure of yours has actually given me fresh inspiration for our act. Me too! Did you see that unnatural and slightly gimmicky waterfall over there? The one flowing upside down? Stay away from it. No water. Too late, Nona. It has already watered the flower of inspiration in my heart and blossomed in two. Guess what I called it. Guess. The upside down waterfall? The devil's fire hose. Let's show our runaway how we do it, everybody. Creepy on the bottom. This would be easier if you didn't use so much hair grease. It'd be easier if your head weren't so pointy. Now, Rasputin, up top you go. Yes, son. And then you could add a little psychic flourish by levitating this pine cone. No, no. Then we pass each person up the tower like water flowing. No psychic flourishes. I told you. We. Oui. Are acrobats. We don't do pirate tricks. Uh, guys? Why not a little of both? Pops. Oh, cretin. You guys! Oh, shush. This is why we taught you how to fall as babies. <sighs> it's no use. We need the aquatron. <laughs> I'm on it. Help him out, would you, Booty? He's had to take on so much extra work since you abandoned your family and broke our hearts. That's a good boy. If there's one thing the Aquatos know how to do, it's making themselves at home. Anywhere. Mom. Hmm. Oh, yes, Rasputin? What you doing? I'm trying to perfect the devil's fire hose, of course. It's a risky one, but I think this might be the spectacle that puts the Aquatos back on top. Can I help? Yes. Tell me how to make the devil's fire hose reach even greater heights. How about some sight? Finish that sentence and it will kill your mother, Rasputin. Maybe if everyone stood on tippy toes? Everyone is already stretched to their full height. I should know. I stretch them every day. What if we incorporate animals into the act? Overall, children are cheaper and slightly cleaner. What if we set everyone's costumes on fire? Very exciting. But these are the only costumes we have, Rasputin. Seems like doing the trick horizontally would be safer. Safety doesn't fill seats, Rasputin. What if everyone were singing? Ugh, I'd rather die in water. Blindfolds? We tried that before. Remember the big pink eye epidemic? Shut us down for a week. Chainsaws? Who will pay for the gasoline, darling? Well, that's all the ideas I got. Sorry. Hmm. You really want to help me? Go find your brother, Queepy. He's wandered off again. Top of what? Top of the acrobatic world, Rasputin. As the Aquatos once were. Before the curse. Can I ask you about the curse? Not too loud. You know your father doesn't like to talk about it. But as you know, 
a cruel fortune teller cursed our family, Raz. Every Aquato for all time is cursed to die in water. That is why we had to leave our grand aquatic circus behind and start again at the bottom in this humble family troop. We may not have water anymore, but we still have the most important thing, right? We still have family. highly stretchable ligaments. Oh, yes, and family. Who cursed us? Too many questions. Stay away from the water! That's all we need to know. I stopped arguing with that woman long ago. You know, Agent Forsythe is a very important psychonaut. And she's really cool, actually. I think you'd really like each other if you hung out. The woman in the suit? Uh, we get along just fine. As long as we keep our distance. A circus can only have one prima donna. Sorry about running away. It's okay, Rasputin. I blame myself. Really? Why? I forgot to latch your door that night. You... you latch our door at night? From the outside? Only since Queepy started sleepwalking. Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. <laughs> None of your fortune teller tricks, Rasputin. <laughs> nice trick, Tala. Is Nona looking? Yes, and she looks really impressed. <laughs> Quit it. Hi, Nona. Oh, hello, my sweet little turnip. Are you comfortable? Do you need anything? I'm happy as long as I'm with my family. Aren't you cold out here in the woods? Ugh, please. I'm from Golovia. This is nothing. Can I ask you about the curse? Don't go near the water. Yes, I know about that part, but... Then you know the whole thing. All you need to know. Do you hate psychics as much as Mom? You mean fortune tellers? Like the Galakios, the ones who cursed us? They are not natural. They are not trustworthy. Nona, who's your favorite grandchild? It's me, right? Oh, of course, you are my favorite. My sweet little Dion. Well... I gotta go back to my spy stuff. Good boy, now don't get a big head. Careful. Oh, old bones! Oh, yes. My back really needed that. Look at that. This is Morris Martinez, and you're listening to KLOB. Spinning records for all you interns, out turns, his turns, her turns, and their turns. Creepy, there you are. Aw, oh, man, you found my private dancing place. Sorry. Too late. You ruined it. Uh, Mom's looking for you. What are you listening to? Some local radio station. I have no idea where it's coming from, but I love it! Oh, can I listen to it with you? No! I just want to dance with you. I need my me time. Mom's really worried about you. Oh, please. I'm the only one she doesn't need to worry about. The song is pretty cool. Quit making fun of me. I think I know who's broadcasting that station. Why do you need to take over everything I like? Dad? 
Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? Press harder on your temples. Really? I'm already getting a bit of a bruise there. Just keep practicing. That's it? Clear your mind. If it were any emptier, I'd pass out. Focus on the hottest thing you can think of. Okay, then. I'm thinking of your mother. Dad! We're human beings, Rasputin. You're really taking to this psychic stuff. Like, really hard. Well, I guess I'm making up for lost time. Plus, it could be a fun father and son activity for us to do together, don't you think? Uh-huh. Dad, can I ask you about where we come from? You mean, Gulovia? That's a sad story, son, but there were some glory days back in the old country. The Aquatos were part of a very prestigious national circus there. We even performed for the Tsar and his family from time to time. But then that monster Maligula ruined everything. Actually, Maligula's not ancient history. Some of her followers are trying to bring her back to life. What? The Psychonauts think one of her delusionists have infiltrated the base as a mole. Then be careful what you tell them, son. We're more connected to Maligula than you should say. What's that? What do you mean we're connected to Maligula? She comes from the Galocchio family. The family that cursed all of our family to die in water? Son, she is the Galocchio who cursed our family to die in water. And it worked. My father drowned in the Valermo Dam disaster. But my mother, your Nona, survived. She escaped Grilovia and came here to get away from the curse. What do you think of the Devil's Fire Hose? Oh, it's going to be a showstopper, I can tell. Your mother never disappoints, you know. I just wish she'd let me add a little, you know, razzle-dazzle. Oh, yes, like that. Thanks for helping out back at summer camp. Well, I could tell somehow you were in trouble. Probably because of our psychic connection. So, how is Lily? I couldn't help but notice when I was inside your mind... Dad! ...that you had some uncertainty about the status of your relationship. What's that? Just tell her how you feel, son. Tell us all how you feel, Raz. <sighs> I don't think Mom's on board with this psychic stuff. Oh, she'll get used to it. Like she did with my model train hobby. <sighs> Still so sad about how that elephant sat on my whole collection. Dad, our circus doesn't have any elephants. Hmm, true. Not sure where that animal came from. I'll have to ask your mother. She's the one who saw it happen. You know who else in the family is psychic, right? Does it rhyme with Daisy? Yes, and also with Lazy. Well, if that's true, then it's for her to tell us about, son, not you. <sighs> yeah, I guess you're right. I had that coming. I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. Dad? Hi, son. Think I'm getting any better at this? I'll let you get back to practicing. Yes, yes. I think I'm almost there. <laughs> You'll have to teach me that one. <laughs> Did you see that? How could I not? It caught fire! <laughs> a little. Mr. Aquato, you almost started a forest fire just then. Oh, well, uh, I don't know about that. <laughs> I do. You had me really scared. Really? Well, I promise to be careful. Let's see if I can do that again. Don't worry about helping out, Squirt. We're used to getting by without you. Hey, Dion. Mm-hmm. 
Mom told me you needed help. With what? Reading crystal balls? Beat it, Nostra dumbass. Looks like you need someone to release the ropes. I'll just pop up there and take care of it. Oh, really, Mr. Mental? You think you even remember how to be an acrobat? You'll see. You sure look like you could use some help. You look like you could use a tailor. You sure you're using the right knots on those support ropes? I don't know. Why don't you come a little closer so I can practice my knots on you? Look, Dion. I know you're mad about me running away. <sighs> don't flatter yourself. If you hadn't stolen Frazy's horse, we wouldn't have even noticed you were gone. Hey, I sent Sugar Q back home as soon as I got to the train tracks. Poor little thing was exhausted. Next time you run away, instead of taking the world's smallest pony, call a cab. You'll get farther. Maybe we won't be able to find you. Don't you think it's time to get over your anti-psychic stuff? I will when it stops hurting our family. Dad's a psychic. It's a phase. Frazy's a psychic. Oh, that's a great example. Yeah, we should all be more like Frazy. Ow! You wish you could be more like me. <laughs> How long are you planning on being mad like this? Forever. Do you even realize what you've done to the Aquato name? Psychics? Fortune tellers? You let out our family's worst secret. This family has too many secrets. We'll be better off when they're all out. We'll be better off when you're out. Dion. Bye, Dion. Huh? Now, Raz. Is this one of your fortune teller tricks, Raz? Because I don't like it. Okay, so that creepy mind stuff did save a little time. But I still don't have to like it. Deal. And you're welcome! Seeing the old Aquato Dome again reminds me of a trick Dion taught me once. Dion? Mm-hmm. Bye, Dion. Waste of time. Hey, Frazy. I can't believe Mom forgave you so easily. Can we talk about you being psychic now? Ugh, look, Raz. I know we played all kinds of weird brain games when we were kids. But I'm not ready to break Mom and Dad's hearts like you did, okay? Dion's being a total jerk to me. What a newsflash. What else? Is the sky also blue? How long does the family plan to stay out here? Just until the circus makes enough dough to pay for the trip home. Why don't you stay here with me? And do what? Join the intern program. That sounds humiliating. It is, but it builds character. I think. I'll, uh, consider it. Maybe I'll check the place out for a while. If we can win over Mom, that is. Hey, where's Sugar Cube? You mean my beautiful tiny horse? The one you kidnapped? She's with friends. She asked that I not tell you her location. No, she didn't. Don't tell me about my horse, Pooter. Bye, Frazy. Later, trader. I got another pine cone here with your name on it, jerk. I got another pine cone here with your name on it, jerk. Big deal, I can do that. Yeah. 
son seems really mad at me. Oh, don't worry about him. He'll get over your betrayal of the family soon. I didn't betray the family. Listen, your father raised you all to mistrust and dislike fortune tellers. You mean psychics. Mental tricksters. And now, your father has this change of heart. Suddenly, everything Dion knows to be true is wrong. I'll tell you how to fix things between you. How? Go practice with him. Bond, go! Why did Dad raise all of us to hate psychics? Acrobats and fortune tellers have one of the great rivalries of the circus. One side uses skill and passion to bring thrills and joy to people's hearts. And the other bends spoons and curses whole families to die in water. But you say you are a psychic now, so we are all being very broad-minded. I am a psychic. So's dad, and so's fr- Ow! Yes, and I still love you all. But please, don't rub my nose in it, Rasputin. How do you feel about dad being psychic? Every family has its secrets. The trick is to hide your shame away where no one can see it. That doesn't sound very healthy. It's smoking! Hey, everybody! My pine cone is- Oh, never mind. That's my thumb. Does that sound healthy to you? Okay, I'm going to go practice my acrobatics. Uh-huh. Remember, every time you lie, it takes a day off your mother's life. <laughs> <laughs>